what up guys how are you ordering today i hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe welcome welcome back to my youtube channel my name is esther if it's the first time thank you for stopping by you are at the right place please consider subscribing and don't make this your last and in this episode i'm going to be doing a q a session i'm going to be doing a q a session so i got my questions from google this question is about life so this is q a session questions about life i wrote them right here because i'm using the phone to record this video so i wrote them in this book and uh, this question goes over here because this pa these pages are not back to back so i have to write them again i have to i wrote them here on the first one and on the second one so guys i got this book um in cape town when i went to my friend's church um for the first time visitors um we got a gift bag with a card i don't know what to call how to call that we call we, we got this book and the card and a barrel of cold drink so, so this book is ah the name of the church is glory restoration assembly it's located in cape town so i went to that church when i was in cape town my friend invited me because my friend goes to that church so it was very nice i had a very nice experience so guys moving on obvious so let's start my first question is what are what are the things that makes you happy um when everything is going well in my life of course i'm going to be happy i don't like being stressed i don't like having problems or i don't like it when people around me are not happy so i like being happy i like having chilling around people with good vibes and getting everything i want or getting everything i want in my life makes me happy and also my family members and my mom and everybody around me makes me happy so guys let's move on to another v another question second question is do you consider yourself confident of course yes do you have care and sympathy for other people around you yes of course yes i have care and sympathy of other people around me of course um i'll not say okay for for people that knows me better they, they know that i i just don't take uh let me just say i don't take nonsense but i also uh the thing is the, the thing with me is i i don't know if i, I can say i'm a very short tempered but i like reacting uh immediately so if you do something wrong to me i, I will not wait for another moment or whatever i will i will want to react immediately but it doesn't mean that i am not I don't care or I don't have sympathy or whatever of some of the time most of the time i will react and regret later i'm like that but i i have care and sympathy i like helping other people that are in need i like of course most of sometimes you might not have it all but with the little you have you share that shows care and sympathy and also sometimes you don't have to it, it it doesn't have to be material sometimes you care about people spiritual by praying for them remembering them in your prayers yeah moving on to another question this question say have you ever been beaten up of course i have been beaten up so many times but when i was a child i have been beaten up by my many times but when i was a child i have been beaten up by my mom she she used to beat me most of the time because i never used to listen and put it that way so guys <laughs> so let's move on let's move let's move on to another v what is one embarrassing situation you will never forget okay so let me tell you about this one i don't know if to me it's an embarrassing situation because i got embarrassed it happened when i was in grade 12 i was in my last year i was in my final year of high school which was 2019 so we were in class we were doing our unprepared speech whereby the teacher will call you it was in our english class the teacher will call you and then give you a topic that we'll be talking about when you go to the front so she will call you and give you the topic and give you like five minutes to prepare she'll just give you a random topic and then you're gonna have to make a scripted speech through that like make it like 
main points we'll be talking about and then go to the front and then do it so guys my, my teacher called me i was not even ready i didn't even know she was gonna call me that day so and the period was almost over so uh she called me and then she gave me this um topic to talk about she said i must talk about artificial intelligence guys did i not die i didn't even know how to say like of course i knew what I knew what I was going to say, but I didn't know how to because I was very nervous. So uh, I, I was just there. I didn't mean ask anybody because they say we mustn't ask for anybody's. Uh, we, we mustn't ask for anybody's help. So I got on this uh, on the stage in front of the class of everybody. I greeted, um, I greeted the teacher and I greeted the old class, and then I introduced myself. This is how we used to do it. This is how it was a master right? So I did that. So by the time I have, to, by the time like my time to like when I started speaking, I know I was like, artificial intelligence. It's when people use. <laughs> I, don't, I I can't remember what I said, but people everybody laughed. The teacher laughed. another question. One habit you wish you could let go. What habit can I let go? So guys, I have this habit of eating pap in the morning. Pap is ugali. There's those days where I just wake up. I don't feel like eating breakfast. I just want to eat pap in the morning. Pap is fufu. Pap is ugali. As here in SA, we call it pap. This is how they call it here. In my country, in French, we call it uh, fufu. In Swahili, we call it we call it ugali. So I have this habit of eating ugali every morning. Not every morning most of the time in the morning and then i don't want to cook the fresh one i just want to make that one for yesterday and then i'll just warm it in the microwave and then i will eat it so it's not good for me because i feel like it's making my stomach big so that's a bit that i wish i could let go but yes as time goes on of, of, of course i will um <clears throat> My, my next question goes like this. Um, are you satisfied with your life? Yes, I'll say yes, I'm satisfied. Reason why most people are not even where I am and they wish to be in my shoes and they, they wish to have the life I have, but I don't have. So me too, I wish to have a better life but i'm happy i'm satisfied with the way i with with where i am and i'm happy for where i'm going yes let's go to another question what is your dream job my dream job is to become a full-time youtuber is to become a successful youtuber that makes over ten thousand dollars every month that is my dream job like i really want to be a very big popular youtuber that everybody look up to that everybody want to watch that everybody get addicted to they can't be without watching that's how i want to be that's my dream job right now so if i can even reach to let me say if i can be giving if i can be getting like 5k views per video i'm telling you i'll be very happy and i'll even dedicate i'll quit my job and dedicate my time and grow bigger and bigger of course i'm growing and then i'm sure i'll grow and then see myself where i want to be so guys let's move on to another question what is the last time you cried and why when is the last time you cried and why so when is my last time i cried i don't have something that makes me cry like i don't cry for anything but whenever i'm very i'm too emotional i'm too emotional whenever i'm watching a movie like a sad movie whereby somebody especially when it's uh nollywood i like watching nollywood movies most of the time and so if they are maltreating a person i'll just feel like crying i'll just cry and yeah and after crying i'll just have my tears and whenever i cry i always have headache so i won't have to drink panado to cool my head down yeah Apart from that, the last time I cried was yeah, my recent cry. But yes, I'm not talking about others. What was your 
what was your best time at school either primary either prep either high school my best time at school is when i was in grade um grade grade 10 and my best time was school where i got i get to choose my favorite subjects to do grade, grade 10 is high school for those that doesn't live in south africa grade 10 is high school i don't know how to put it in your own way of how you call it in your, in your country but grade 10 is the third year of high school we have uh five years in high school grade eight grade nine grade ten so grade ten was my best year ever in high school that's where i get to choose my own subject that i have to do so i chose my favorite subjects and then i was happy with it though i chose pure mates and it didn't go well and i had to go to um term two i moved to medleads so guys so that's it and what else yeah it was a bit safe for me because i was doing my subject where we used to do hospitality time for hospitality sometimes when you're doing practicals we're gonna have to go to the kitchen and cook and bake you it was so nice you and we you and we see ourselves as have you ever been bullied no i have not been bullied though some of my friends were teasing me at school i'm not called that bullied because you know that's like my own friends teasing me but i still my friend we still chill together we still do our things together though they will tease me yeah they, 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 they used to tease me about my complexion they say i'm too dark oh my teeth look like my boyfriend beats me that's why they're like this whatever whatever, whatever. I, to me i feel like we're just playing because they're my friends like they were my friends maybe if, if it was coming from a different person that i was not used to i was not call it bully, bullying but it came from my closed friends in high school so do you think marriage is an important part of life guys of course yes marriage is an important part of life because this way you get to start your own family with you, you you get to live the rest of your life with your love with your love with your partner you get to be partner for life you get to <clears throat> so i think this is the last question one quote or wisdom you think it has changed your life so guys i have this quote that changed my i forgot uh we wrote it but i came across this quote long time in 20 during the pandemic in, in 2020 so i will wrote it down here so that i will not forget so that i will say it as it is so this quote is um okay let me first read the question once again before i read this quote they say one quote or wisdom you think it has changed your life okay this has changed my life positively so it goes like this scott goes like this go confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life you've imagined you have imagined so this quote has changed my life positively because um sometimes you feel discouraged or whatever but you of course you'll be discouraged but if you remember your dreams you just have to be confident and rise up again and go confidently in the way of your dreams and then you and then of course you might not have it all but you have to live a life that you have always imagined because it will definitely come to pass i just want to thank you so much for watching if you watch until this far you are such a darling you are so amazing i love you so much so guys we 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 come to the end of the video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to leave to leave a comment down in the comment section don't forget to like this video don't forget to share share with your friends share with your loved ones so they get to subscribe to my channel and get to know me and get to join this amazing youtube family i remain your greatest hosts queen esther and this is queen esther tv i'll see you again in my next video stay blessed and bye